Welcome back to the Hat Films channel. Today we're going to be rating crisps. In front of me here are the 20 most popular UK crisps and we're going to rank them. How are we doing that, Chris Traw? Well, we've got things on the board from S tier to F tier and we're just going to prove how wrong the UK public is. I'm just here for the crisps, guys. Honestly, I'm hungry as anything. And if you're from America, chips. Okay, starting with number 20 is salt and vinegar hula hoops. It's a classic. Get tucked in, shall we? Very crunchy. I honestly, I have skipped lunch. This is all for this. Mm. Also, you can wear them as jewelry, though. You would can you, wear would them you do as the honors? Yeah. Um, that, that is true. Would you? Maybe we should be thinking of the how hazardous they are to eat whilst rating them as well, because mouthfeel. Mouthfeel is important. We really get some master chef tips here. I don't think it's S tier, but I do like yeah. them. Like I said, I haven't eaten lunch, so it's going to be up in the high <laughs> A's to S's. Um, I would say I'm going to go B. Just thinking, okay. I can see the array, array here. I'm going to go B for my selection. What would you say? I'd be more like C D, but oh, okay. See, I'm A B. He's B. B. You're C D. B. Come on. B. Okay. Yeah. B. Okay. We've got so many to get through. B. Um, okay. Um, as you can see, we couldn't get hold of the scampi fries. The elusive scampi fries. How many places did we go to? Like six, seven? I even went to a pub. You even went to a pub. Even went to a pub. <laughs> what do you mean? We did drag them out of the pub. <laughs> no, um, and we couldn't find them anywhere. So this one, unfortunately, is a mystery vote. We Should we put it in the mystery I have eaten mystery them. Mystery tier. I have eaten them, and I was really sad because these guys... I've actually not had them. Nice. Oh, okay, cool. Mystery nice. tier. They're great. For me, they would be A, possibly a. even S. Oh my That's god. That's how good they but are. But they're 19 in my opinion. according to the UK. I know. Survey. They don't know shit. It's wrong. What's it? Now we got a classic. These yep. are puff. What size are these they? Are, they large are they ones? maize? These are maize, these aren't are maize, they? These are maize, I do believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, corn maize. So these are made of corn. Are okay. you a cruncher or a melter? Ugh. I don't know. The melting thing... I, I crunch. So Craig said there was a thing where you can melt them and stick them together and make a really long chain. Now that's something that I've never tried before. How are you doing that, Craig? Where's okay, here we go. No, that's exactly how. You did it. Precisely He's made a little how. wiener. Let me just pass those over to you, Trot. Oh, thank you very much. Whoa, oh, that bag looks huge. These are actually bigger, though, I will say. <laughs> these What's are that? the that's giant a... ones. Do you want them, Smith? Okay. Thanks, Trot. Watches for me are actually A. Really? Yeah. A. I love Agreed. a what's it. A. He's saying A as well. I honestly think these bigger ones are much more enjoyable than those little ones. Not We're as widely watches. available though, so I'm going to put these on A. Knickknacks, knobbly, wacky sticks of corn. Knickknacks are kind of like, they're not quite Marmite, are they? They're a rare they're more treat light for me. than they're not Ooh, like. I mean, this is what knickknacks look like if you're not from the UK. These are nice and spicy. This specific flavor oh. is on the survey. What do you think? So nice and spicy are my least favorite flavor of knickknack. I prefer both the ribbon saucy and my favorites. You can get a scampi and lemon knickknack and they are fantastic. Oh. We've got what's yeah. it some big hoops at A and B. Where does this land? Knickknack's got to go in an A for me. I'm saying A as well. Yeah. B. I'm You're saving B. my S's. I'm a bit more of a B. I prefer the texture of a fluffy what's it. That's two A's to one P, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That's going right, A. Fine, it's going on. I mean, nice and is still really nice though. Mm. Next up. First walkers of the oh, list you gonna... of many. <laughs> Prawn cocktail. A divisive mm. flavor. They are good. I like it because it's got like a sweetness to it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's meant to be like that Mary Rose sauce you get in yeah. Prawn cocktail. Very more. Right? Very more. They're not very oily. And I like walkers, Chris, because they're very thin and fragile. Oh. And it means it doesn't tear up your gums. So that's... That's easy, another plus Easy to eat, easy to eat. I would say B. B. I think that's a unanimous B. They're not incredible, yeah. but they're very good. Next up, we've right. got the first of our tortilla chips. Now this, I think, is a travesty. Yeah, Doritos so. are so far I'm down. I know. This is what, 17, 16? Do you remember in sort of primary school, nice. oh, well, at least for me, it was the first exposure I had to these. I remember oh, Doritos arriving the, yeah. in like early, late primary school, mm -hmm. and they oh, were did incredible. Did you have vendor dinners as well? Huh? Vendor dinners, where you would just go to a vending machine and have a lunch. Because yeah. Because the queue for the actual lunch was really long. Really long. Most of your lunch time. I don't They're really... generous with the um, the flavoring as well. Yeah, they are Duck. coated, aren't they? They are coated in it. And these are nice tortilla chips, which aren't common. they got to be A for me. I think A. I'm A. I'm A with this one. I'm, I'm, I'm an A S. It doesn't matter what I say then. Why? What I'm are you not... going to go for? What would you give them? I'll give them C. Really? I'd go down to C. You hate Doritos. I hate this flavor of them. I don't, oh. hate, I don't hate A C is still a good. Come on. For me, Doritos will always hold. Are we even going to touch this side, guys? Mm, a. I think it's got to be because what other chip or crisp out there do you get a chunky tortilla chip that's covered in flavor? Loaded. Yeah, like I just feel like you get a lot of your money with a Dorito. Pringles, salt and vinegar. Pringles are. These ones know. are harsh, I think. In like the amount of salt and vinegar in these is strong. So I love Pringles, don't get me wrong. I love the Pringles. Salt and vinegar really brings it down for me. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to go. D. I'm gonna start utilizing the side. Yeah, all right. D. 
Really I'm worried about that. Really hope that stays up there. That's, <laughs> I mean, are we worried though? Because we all hate Pringles. Now these are one of my favourite Pringles as well as uh, yours. Actually, let me pass yeah, that to you. Yeah, they are my favourite Pringles. Thank you. Pick that up first. Yeah, sour cream and onion. You can't. I thought they were already open. I mean, they're that good. Indeed. This is S tier. These are really good. I love these. S tier for me. They're so good. You're going to have to back them on that because I don't think I would say, I'm going to have one, but I would say A. I actually Ooh, really don't You're going to bring this down, aren't you? I, don't I might bring it to F, much. actually. I might go up. S is really Honestly, good. I'm just, like, There's I'm something gonna... about the shape of a Pringle, the texture of a mm -hmm. Pringle, and this flavour that makes it S tier for mm. me. I'll just take my time. Ah, 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 S tier? S tier? I'm saying S tier. Let's put it on the board! Yes! First S tier! Whoa! Wow! All right, up next, Doritos. Cool original. So this flavor is actually meant to be sour cream and black pepper. Oh. If, you, uh, if you're ever at home and you want to make a cool original-like flavor, sour cream and cracked black pepper and maybe like a bit of garlic and olive oil and you'll get vaguely close to what this is meant to taste like. These are called Cool Ranch in America, right? Yeah. Cool original, very, very good flavor. I do love these with the dips. So I'm kind of, kind of that's in my mind here when I'm in mean, I can eat these on their own and I still love them. A me, tier. For me, it's an A. Yeah. I think yeah. they're well, equal with tangy cheese. The A is getting crowded. It's very crowded. crowded over here. Well, these are the most popular in True. the UK. True. You, so these were the 20 most popular, and we ranked. They were ranked. So this side is the most popular, and we're starting from the least popular mm. of the 20. Are there going to be some upsets though? Oh, we've got I, a oh, I, I can tell you when there's going to be an upset. Quavers. Now this, I'd say, I used to love is these. a great crisp. I haven't had these in ages. They're kind of like melt in your mouth, mm. easy to eat. A lovely flavour of cheese. But the taste now, mm. it doesn't. Mm. It's like a fluffier, it's it curly, it's a curly crisp, a bit more fragile. Mm. I'm saying D. I feel like them. I'm saying D. D straight away. I'm going to say C. Yeah, I think C. C. This okay. is his first C. Quavers. Of course, if you disagree with us, please uh, let us know in the comments which where you would put your favourite crisps. Monster Munch! Specifically, pickled onion. This is going to be divisive, I think. I know, yeah. Is it? I feel like they're, yeah. They're right. widely loved, but how much do you actually love them? Now this is quite the novelty. Oh yeah. These little monster little hands. Monster claws. Monster claws. Kind of vibe from How that. quite, they're very thick too. Look at the size of that. Superb. That's an S for me. From F. That's an S for me. That's incredible. Pickled onion monster munch. Nothing like it. E. So, e, okay. You hate them that much. Can I just say? I, oh my God. I agree. E. Because I love Monster Munch, but I hate, I don't, I don't like Pickled flavor. onion, I don't, I don't like This it. is the Monster Munch flavor, surely. Not, well, apparently I it is. This is why it's going to be divisive. It's not my flavor. Hashtag oh my not God. My Again, if me e. and Russell are wrong, let us know in the comments. Yeah. But I think that's an E. You've got a delicate gum, delicate mouth. Yeah, but big one. I, I agree, you can sometimes get a bite where it like goes right into your gum. Yeah, it's it like, hurts. Mm. But, oh, that risk factor. I love the crisp, I love the crunch. Yeah. But the flavor. the flavor puts me off completely of these ones. Right, you guys put an E. You do it, you do it, you go E. But you were going to say S. I was going to say S. So wow, I, think we should, I think we should bring it up one just for the fact that he said we'll S. Bring S, it is up. S is powerful. Very, that's a big, yeah, that's yeah, a big yeah. claim. D. Nice. I'm surprised I can't believe it. The comments are going to go nuts. But that's going to be a crazy one. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Gonna sorry. Off. Okay. They're going to crucify you guys. Let's move along from that controversy to something way less controversial. Right, Smith? You love skips. How do you like Skips are so good. Melt in the mouth. Are you a cruncher or are you a melter? Because oh. I, I like to I'm a binner. melt these bad boys. Light and melty. Yeah. Prawn cocktail flavor, yeah. just yeah, yeah. like the Walkers ones. I've, melt I, in again, the mouth. I haven't had these in ages. They melt right on the tongue. It's like you can hear the bubbling there. It's like tasty styrofoam. Away. This is S T. Oh. Craig is he's Craig's. painting an S in the air. They just dissolve, they just disappear in your mouth. They're very nice and fluffy. I'd say A. They look like little flowers. A. I'm going A. Imagine somebody's packed a warm fish in a box surrounded by packing foam. That's what skips taste like. They taste like a no, hint. Wrong. There's not even that's moorish. That's really. It's, 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 it's not sweet. Really... It's delightful. It's got a nice little tang to it, but not too much. If you want and a little it melts crunch. in the mouth. Mm. It's like it's crappy delightful. prawn crackers that aren't aren't hard enough to the bite. Mm. Every, it's awful. Awful from start to finish. This for me is F. I I, I really a. dislike skips. It's an A tier for me. And I'm actually going to lower to B. You'd have to pay me 20 quid to finish that bag. 20 Pay you 20 quid? Wow. I would probably be in a B, A mm. line. So I'm happy to bring it down to C. Stick them with the flavors. Sad Craig, he's trying to get it back up there. Craig really Craig, wants it up there. Craig, let me say more for you later. 
Sorry, you Craig. You can get taken off the wall. This is Christ. tough. I need a I palate cleanser. Bring I on the next, the I need a palate cleanser. I didn't well, it's through. not going to be this palate cleanser. It's Walker's Squares. And I'm wondering Have what the hell before? the UK public were thinking I've never had when they put this in the ranking. <laughs> I've never had them. Okay, Craig I'm wants these up. <laughs> these are just savoury cinnamon grains. Oh, I like grains. those. These yeah. are hard. They're a bit chewy and I hate them. Okay, I've not had these before. Mm. Oh, it tastes like like chips you get at the bottom of a fish and chips that are like crispy. You know what? I like these. Mm. You like them? Mm. You like these? I actually quite like those quite a lot. These are E for me. I would say the salt and has got the same Pringle level it's of... It's very harsh. It works power. better on this chip. It does. So we put Pringle salt and vinegar in D. Where would you put these? A. A. I'm going B on this. B. I'd, I'd take B. I want D. This is good. <laughs> I'm saying B. Ah. All right, we don't need to get, we don't need to spend too long here. S. Frazzles. Frazzles. They could be, they might S. be an S. S okay. tier frazzles. I, again, haven't had these in years. There's a lot of these Smell I haven't them. had in a long time. Bacon flavored, bacon looking look. crisps. Let's get whiffs, let's get whiffs. This is what they look like. I want more flavor than that. You want more flavor? A really nice mouthfeel mm. though. Crunch. I, like I always want more of a bacon punch. I can't yeah, same. These. same. I want more of a bacon kick and that takes it down from the S tier for me. All right, so frazzles A. Right. I'll bring it down yeah, from an S. Yeah, I agree with yeah, a. a. I agree with A. Have we, yeah. not, have we put anything in S yet? All we've put is bloody sour cream and onion Pringles in S. <laughs> you do. Well, at the end, we can have a little revise. Uh, we've got some other crisps we're going to look at as well, some of our favourites mm -hmm. that didn't somehow make it into the top UK yes, list. we've got some good ones to come. Right, these are a firm favourite of, of, of many of us, I think. Hula Hoops! Yes. These, these are my favourites. These one are of them. very good. These are called barbecue beef these days. They used to be beef and onion, didn't they? Uh, I think they were beef and onion. Yeah. Barbecue beef or just beef. Strong aroma mm. and flavor there. You've got the crunch, mm. you've got the hula hoop crunch that you love and know. This is mm. great. It's good to go back to hoops after all those crisps. It's, a, it's quite a so unique good. flavor as well. I feel like mm. you know that straight away. That's a beef hula hoop. Do you guys get beef burps? I eat a whole bag of this or prawn cocktail. It's a lot of flavor. You get like beef maybe burps. a couple of hours of beef burps. I'm, I'm saying S, big S, big fat a. S. S all the way. Um, you know what? If those bloody Pringle sour cream and onions got into S, I want to see this in S because those? they're better. Than I would definitely. Have, if, if these were in front of me, I would take this yeah. every day of the week. I'd say S. All right. Get them up there. Yes. <sighs> what doesn't belong in the top five of the UK's ranking is boring old ready salted walkers. Jesus. Sorry. It's, I mean, I can it's see dull. why. I can see why it's up there because it is just. It's a, a basic, go it's a basic crisp, it's enjoyable crisp, really? but it's so boring, like it is bland. Would you pick this over big no. hoops? No. Uh, no, no one there are big hoops. No. Craig is nodding Oh, at us. Craig. Craig, no. Craig, if you were a flavor of ice cream, you'd be vanilla. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the best, it goes with everything. To be fair, Walker's crisps, mm. I like their consistency. Yeah. They're nice, they're thin. For me, that would be an A or a B. D. Wait again? D. D. Are you in between those two? I'm in between those because they're enjoyable. Maybe this the will be The crisps are nice, they're tasty, but like, Go on. very boring. C is fine for me. Compromise on C? Yeah, I'll take a C. All right, we got another C! C. Next up, more ready salted fun. Pringles. Pringles. Are they better than Walker's ready salted? It's popping. I'm going to say That's yes. That's a pop. That's a very cutesy little... Uh, Again, the same pop. Pringle. They've gotten smaller, or I've gotten bigger. I swear okay. they used to be massive. Very boring, so isn't it? D. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's barely any salt in there. The ready salt one, I'm saying E. I think that's a D, because I I'd still- I'd go down to F I still like this. Pringles. If you were to get salt and vinegar Pringles- Oh, see, yeah, I'd put salt and vinegar below those, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, so I'd- No, I, no. Want, I, want, I want something on them. I was going to put D. All right, I'd say- I'd go E. I'd e. say- You sticking it in D? E or D. Well, if you're both saying D, go D. Yeah, but I want them to Are be- Are you more E than D though, Smith? This is down to you now. Yeah. Because then when you have to look at the ones that are on D, and think, wow, which oh, one? Let's stick an E in there. Oh, let's stick an E. Yeah, 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 yeah. We haven't got an E yet. We haven't got an E yet. A couple of bad boys on this. this. No, I think this is going to be a controversial topic again. We're putting yeah, Pringles so. on E. I think so. But, but I... don't forget, we've got an S tier Pringle. Don't forget about that bad Pringles boy. are all over the place. I'm looking at our top three. I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed three. by this. I'm not impressed by what I'm seeing. Walker's salt and vinegar. I mean, again, it's, it ticks a lot of boxes. Tasty crisp. Um, let's, let's get the. Oh, let's go. We've got such a strong one. I'm going to go B. Yeah. I, I know that might be controversial. You, was, you said D. I, I, go, I go A or B, personally. I really quite like them. I think my personal preference for salt and vinegar not being that high. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. It, so. How about B then? All right, I'll take. Yeah. Because I do like Walkers. 
Number two in the ranking. God, number We're two. We're back with Monster Munch. That's right, the UK okay. loves this brand that's only really in the UK, right? Roast beef. Roast beef. I've never had these. You've never had them? I've not had the roast beef one, so I'm, I'm excited because I like the beef. I like beef flavor. Interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. A bit more aromatic than you'd think. Yeah. Don't you feel like they don't have any flavor on them? Weak. Weak flavor. That's number two. I that thought it'd be more flavorful than that. Number two. How can you choose that over pickled onion? No, I, I, I'm, I'm going, I'm going down with this. Yeah, one. I'm going like E with that. I'm going E. I'll go E as well. Yeah. I just think that's. Oh, I don't know. That's quite lacking like flavor. That. I feel like I'm just eating like a little cloud of dust. Again, I enjoy the texture D? of Monster Munch. E. You I'm guys going, want I'm e. still saying E. You want I E? I know the. I think they are. All right. <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> but again, they're all crisps. They're crisps that I would consume. So I'm not. I haven't gone. We haven't gone F. No. Because I think F is like unedible. It's something yeah, you wouldn't want yeah, to eat I'll ever. I've never touched that again, yeah. Right. And there might be one coming up. <laughs> this is it. Here it is, UK's number one um, best love crisp uh, is... It makes sense. I, I'd say this makes sense because it's, you know, it's wide appeal. It's better than ready salted. It's a bit more interesting than ready salted. Mm -hmm. You've got some heads shaking in it, it by on camera. Okay. This is cheese and onion, right? A combo if you look, flavor. Cheese mm. flavoured, cheese flavoured, onions, right? This has a strong oniony flavour. Like, I think, okay, pickled onions down there, that's an outlier. You guys are wrong about the pickled onion. The but if that was up, you got sour cream and onion, right? So yeah, the, the reason combo. people like flavours like cheese and things like that is because they have high calorie content normally. We, same with sugars and things like that. I think this is popular because it combines two of the most popular flavours. This is mm. S tier. They are nice. <laughs> the shock we get in behind from the whole crew back there. They are, there was an audible gasp. I'm gonna say A, and you think S. Okay. A's in the medium, A. A's in the middle. It's up there with what's it's. I'd agree. Okay, Both yeah. Doritos. No, I'll agree, I'll say A as well. A! Wow. Christ, he didn't take his head out <laughs> of the ring! the roast beef on! <laughs> All right, well, wow. that's our ranking. Are we happy with everything as that's it stands? That's the top 20. Well, now we've seen it, should we have a quick rejig? Okay. Which would you choose out of squares and the, the Walker salt? Squares. Again? I'd choose squares as well. Squares as well. So, Did you say you want to Let's move it down Walkers one? down. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Should we be thinking about what we would buy as well? Because yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to buy these. These roast no. beef, sorry, these roast beef, Monster Munch, I don't think I'm ever going to get them. If you agree with that, I want to take it down a peg. We're going to bring that down yeah. to F? Yeah, 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 bring it down. All right. Never buy again. Never buy. All right. Don't buy. <laughs> Sorry. Those are the second most popular crisps in the UK, bro. They are. And we're I can't them. believe that. I cannot believe Maybe this is a bad batch. <laughs> I still want to put Frazzles up to S tier. So you want to take Frazzles up? Oh yeah, I mean, they deserve to be up there with barbecue beef hula hoops. Come on. Would you put these down to put those up? I'm not haggling here. I want He's them up there. <laughs> I want them up there. Well, we'll okay, we'll see, these two. If we're doing that, we should, like we, should, we should really <laughs> talk <laughs> about what's it's because what's it's again. Let's talk about what's it's. We should be talking about what's it's. What's it's. I think that can go up. Just or, or, Monster Munch. I don't know how this, this is not how <laughs> tier systems work. Leak. You're asking a lot here. Monster Munch pickled onion to A, and you guys get what? Hits and Frazzles and S. From all right. D. No, all right. No. We're not all happy. We have to lay those to rest and move on to the actual crisps that weren't included in this whole survey. These babies. Okay. So what are they? These are tortilla chips, a bit like Doritos, but they are like Doritos fancy cousin, right? right. Ma Manamasa, Manchego, and green olive. Wow. And okay. I'd like you guys to try this. Okay. Mm. Very, very cheesy. Well, yeah. they're very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I really like those. Well, so um, should we decide? I like how they're authentic flavors. They yep. sound, they taste like mm. the real deal, which is good. I'd be like a, a B, mm. only because of the olive. There's also a, a, a queso cheese and lemon drop pepper, which is delicious. That sounds insane. These Whoa. are like more traditional, like smoky. Look how red these are. They smell spicy. So I would say those, are, those ones are probably saying A. A, and I'd call that one a C. Yeah. Okay, same. Okay. This one, the green manchego and olive for me is my S tier. These are probably my favorite crisps mm -hmm. in the world. I'll put this here on the A. We've agreed with an A. Okay. These are gonna go C, just because I kind of yep. like them. But no, I agree, they're not. I don't think I'd. Not the best. I like these a lot. Me too. Ah, yeah. Those could Vegetable, well be. Oh, yes. Vegetable they, crisps. You've got to sort of get a selection, haven't you? Yeah. So there's sort of three different vegetables in these. It's a little bit, mm. looks like you're eating potpourri. Um, oh, this is a good one. 
That's beetroot. Yeah. The yeah. beetroot ones. Oh, I love these so much. These are S. Mm. I think they are. These I'm are S. S. Man, veggie crisps. They, I should have got some as well. And now I've got a couple of uh, less sort of fancy crisps. I would call them. Just some classics. Just some classics that weren't in the rating. This Why? I think. Mini Travesty. cheddars. Travesty. Why wasn't Travesty this in the top twenty? Not in there. I used to get these in my lunchbox as a kid all the time. Oh, that's top five, I'd say. Yeah. Craig bought, which I think we should in introduce. Well, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Are we compare the two? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So let's red Leicester. Let's cleanse the palate with an original. So they come in like little wheels with pinholes in them. They're more biscuits, let's be honest, but everyone yeah, treats them like a crisp. True. Oh no, that's good. So that's the original. Very nice cheddar flavour. Mm -hmm. One of the best cheese flavours on crisps out there. And now these... The combos. Now Red, red Leicester. Leicester. These Love are the Red, red Leicester ones. These are really interesting. A bit stronger. Yeah. Mm. But very nice. Oh, good, right? So oh. good. Oh my God. They're really good. These are incredible. Yeah. Oh my God. This is S tier, based on this flavour alone. G genuinely? I'm annoyed the bag's so small. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst part, is they're so small. Oh. But now I'm not going to get some. Oh, that is such a good flavour. Oh my so, god. Thank the you, Craig. This Thanks, is Craig. Craig's favourite. To the top. To the top with you. Yeah, get really some nice. red Leicester ones. Holy crap. Look at it up there. You just they're really, and then mini cheddars, should we put those? That's destroying A? the mini cheddars. A or B? I mean, A. The original. A they're B. great, but that really knocked it out of the park. Now, what are we going to do about the popcorn? Because oh, I got nice. these to sort of send a message, like, you know, you don't always have to have crisps. I feel it would be a disservice to the crisp community to put that on the board with them. What I like to do is get M&Ms nice. and put them in the... Crispy M&Ms. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crispy yeah, yeah. M&Ms in there. Either or, put yeah. them in there. I call that a popcorn break. Very nice, mm -hmm. but not in the ranking. Okay. So these are the last ones that I thought I had to get in here. Yep. Pom bears. They're a bit of a classic. I remember eating these while going on holiday in like France and places like that. And then mm -hmm. eventually they started making their way into like the Lidl's and Aldi's of the UK. Yep. Nice texture. Doesn't taste much, does it? Not much there. They're not flavorful. C? C, yeah. C! Pombers. The UK public didn't put McCoy's in there oh, yeah. at all. Yeah, I really like crinkle chips, mm. yeah. and cheese yeah. and onion are one of my favorites of McCoy's. I remember eating McCoy's, oh. and they always used to get you like the corners oh. of your fingers would start stinging because of the amount of flavor on them. Yeah, they're better than Walker's. We do have some yeah. salt should we do, Should we do rate these at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a McCoy's it. product. Is there is a Walker's the version of McCoy's there. The Max are basically Indeed. meant to take on. They've got a different, different texture, I think. For me, the salt and vinegar are my favorite of the, of the salt range. Salt and vinegar, I'd say A. I'd say they're both A's. Comfortable, okay comfortable A's. A's. Comfortable A's. A's. All right, mm. squeeze them in there. Yeah, something we haven't seen before. Frazzles. <laughs> sure what do you think? Big oh, look at that. They're, they're already A. What about a better knickknack? Never had this. These are good. It's good. These, I used to get these after swimming, so I always associate these with the swimming pool. That's strange. These and a caramac. So Look at my the post -swimming density of the yeah. flavour of these. It's almost like um, plum sauce, like um, yeah. you got on duck. Yes. A. Should I probably take B? Yeah. Because I... You're not a full A? Nice and spicy already in A, and that's... All right, yeah. I, I really I like nice B. and spicy. So in comparison to the two... Ribbon saucy, B. I did a bit of a smith here in that I went to M&S and I got a unique flavour. Mm. They're not always available. They're great. But this one, Ross may not like as much, but black truffle and olive oil. I'll try these. Oh, then. I love truffle so Gorgeous. much. That smells amazing. Oh, but you're not a fan of truffle. There's something about it that I just musky, musty. I can see why people wouldn't like truffle mind flavor. It. A soft ass, a hard A for me. Just in that blurred line there. Yeah. I'll probably just give it a D. Okay, D. So I probably what did you want? You think S? I was S. So should we take it down to an A? Do our S. Well, if we S Ross's D, that'll make it an A. We yeah. could S Ross's S my D, D and make it an A. Make it yeah, an yeah, A. yeah, 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 yeah. So actually, one of my favourites is, in fact, this one. If I, if it's quite hard to find the flaming hot ones, to be honest, you'd have to go to a corner shop or something. Um, and I would say these are S tier for me. I, I absolutely love these ones. Um, and obviously, I've completely destroyed the idea of Monster Munch up here. But you can bring the it back flaming hot these. ones, honestly. All right. I could eat bag after bag of these. That's my exact favorite cake. Monster Munch. Have you had yeah. these before? You had yeah, these I have. yeah, yeah, yeah. I call yeah. that like a B for me. Yeah. You have B? B, A. But we can go A. Do you want to go A? a as a middle coffee. ground. We, so we've got Pringles on the board. These are cheese and onion Pringles, and I just... I'm interested to I try I really those. like the plate. They're, they're very, very strong. Now, I can't tell if this is too much for some people, no. but like... I do like these. Again, I probably mm. couldn't have loads in one sitting, but like... Oh, that is much stronger onion. very strong really cheesy. Onion mm. I think I prefer them over sour cream and chai. I probably would. I mean, a. that's a B or an A. It's a hard B, soft A. So if you guys work on A, we can go A. a. We'll get A with the tapes behind you. Yeah. My mouth is so blasted by these flavors yeah. now. This mm. is like this one is also a must-have. Oh wow! There are a lot of flavor in these bad boys. If you have a look, 
Oh, tasty crisps. This, this is also the Walker's good. answer or Lay's answer to the KP Snacks McCoys. Yes. What were you saying? I'm going next. You don't like them as much, do you? I'd be those. Have a couple. All right, it's going to be relegated oh, to A, I Ross. Know, oh, no, yeah, treat yourself. We're going A with the uh, Walker's Max Punchy Paprika. Sensations. Jubilee edition. Chili taste. <laughs> oh. There we go again. That is got a kick to it. Really tasty though. Is that, did that cause the an A or no, no, I was just... A for me, yeah, definitely. That's an A. All these flavors taste bizarre now though that I've had like 15 flavors. <laughs> I know, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm going on memory more now than anything else. It's going above, it's, it's a big bag. There you go, yeah. It's trying to squeeze up the mini cheddars. Those mini cheddars, by the way, I can definitely get some of those. Now, right, what's left? These are just weird ones that you always see. We got our own Cheetos. Um, are they better than knickknacks? Wow. Is it very strong. My God. These, the color on these they're looks too much, almost oh, oh my God. God. I think they're too much. Oh, sorry, the smell of these is insane. I think, that, I think that's really strong. I quite like the cheese, but it's There's too a, much. Oh. It's almost like feet cheese, isn't it? That's cutting through every other crisp yeah. I've tasted. Yeah, yeah, you can't knock them for that effect. Come on, Chris. He doesn't want one. He doesn't want it. Come on, Chris. He's taking a crisp. Have a crisp. No, <laughs> no. He says the thing no. is just, when you open that bag, the smell of it was so pungent. It's a lot, isn't like, it? Like, that was a real hit, so like... F, he's F, yeah, where are we putting these? I would probably say... E. E, e or E? I'd say E. I would have these over the Monster Munch every day of the week. Those Monster Munch are terrible. I, didn't, I did not mm, think anything of those mm, Monster Munch. That's a good point. Maybe I would F them. Put them in F. Or you E'd them. You E'd them. You didn't F them. Because I'm addicted to them now. All right, he likes them a little bit, so they're E. Anyway. You've gone um, from the extreme strong cheese to let's go for the oven baked, ready salted Walker's crisp, which is what Allegedly meant to be slightly healthier for you. 50% well, yeah. less fat. They've got a little tiny crinkle to them. A little bit. They kind of look like Pringles. This is such an, a, such an antithesis to the Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, they're the opposite. I put them comfortably in that C section right there. Yeah, yeah they're, I, they're I fine. agree. Discos, these were always around, and they weren't everyone's first choice apart from a slight few. School it's lunchbox. A, it's a niche. There's a school lunchbox. Um, right. We could just do all the flavors of these at once. Okay. So we got so, cheese and onion, salt, salt and vinegar, vinegar, and prawn cocktail discos. Oh, these stink. <laughs> well, I have one of these. <laughs> I just don't like the texture of these. And no. too crunchy and These dense. are horrible. Do I have to eat these? I don't want to eat these. I put these in D and the rest in F. Let's cleanse your palate with the They're original basic, hula hoops. Just basic hula hoops. So you've got We've got all the other flavors. Hula hoops, absolutely fine. I, I think they're, mm, they're tasty they're little snack. Mm. Um, Taste of home. Yeah. B? A at least. Truffle really? oil. Monster I would say B. Hot. B, yeah, all right. I'm going all right. B. You, you told me. They're delicious. But hula hoops are tasty. Oh, okay. I love the texture of hula hoops. But, yeah. um, I love that flavour. They've got like this. If they haven't got the beef in them. They're definitely not S tier like them. Craig was, he was promoting it to be S. So both the Red Leicester Mini Cheddars and the hula hoops are the ones I bought from my cupboard at home. So that's nice. why oh, I Oh, these are from Craig's cupboard. Nice one. Nice would, one. You nice. Think, do you, would you say ready solid hula hoops taste like home to you? Yeah. The taste yeah. of home for me? That and a Kit Kat. I think, you know, two, two finger Kit Kat, a, a pack of hula hoops, and orange Boy. squash. Oh, yes. orange squash. Orange squash, right? Yeah. Yeah. We had the same childhood. No, no, I think we did. And <laughs> a ham sandwich. And we had a childhood that involved space raiders, though. You see, I, I don't it. think I've, uh, I've had them once before, mm. but... And these are also baked, not fried, which is, a is baked probably well. a less oily experience, which is nice. Well, so you they're... know why they're also... I think bacon costs less money than they're frying. They're alien faces. All right, they're like a less flavorful pickled onion monster munch. I go F, I'm never buying this. I would put these... Like a C, I think. Let's go D with those. Our final crisp, Space Raiders. I love a pickled onion flavor. It gets, a, it gets a D. All right, so here we have our final rankings. The board. They are by no means unanimous, but we have to compromise somewhere. If you are thinking you are so wrong, we'd like to hear from you. Put it in the comments below. Mm. Are there crisps that we missed? Let us know in the comments. What would you like us to rank? What cuisines, yeah. what snacks out there? Maybe would you we like could rank chocolates next. Chocolates? Guys? Wow. But what country? We'll find out next time. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for liking. Chris Bahoy. Chris Bahoy. That's, <laughs> that was it. Almost. We didn't discuss that one. <laughs> Almost. Right. He did it. It was good. It was all good. And then he just said Chris Bahoy for some reason. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our ranking today. And if you think we're really wrong, you need to let us know in the comments below. And what should we rank next? Yeah. Chocolates? Oh God, yes. Drinks? Wouldn't that be nice? Drinks? Oh, what kind? Soft drinks. Oh. Which terrible for us food will we rank next? <laughs> Give us some suggestions in the comments below. Bye. Bye.